Budget microphones are really hard to find, especially ones with good quality. I took my time and eventually landed on the BM3000. Let's get started. Hey rookies, welcome back, and today we are going to review the BM3000. So, I was at the world of Amazon to find an amazing, capable, cheap microphone. So, I read a lot of reviews and from, in, from the internet, of course, and uh, a lot of, you know, microphone reviews and comparisons. I eventually landed on the BM3000. So, yeah. So, it comes with the microphone itself, a shock mount, an XLR cable, which I feel it is 1.5 meters long, and a pop filter, a windscreen, and that all for $8.50. So, the other half, which consists of the microphone stand and the uh, microphone stand adapter it costs around four hundred four dollars uh, fifty so if you add them up it's around 13 and um, there were slight issues because the microphone X and the XLR cable wasn't the best and started to not work for some reason because the cable started wearing off and uh, I had to buy another replacement cable um, fortunately this was of better quality and uh, I'll explain why in a minute and uh, I had to spend around three dollars on it so around seventeen dollars at the total price then the second issue is the shock mounts the shock mount threads is not of good quality too it starts to wear off some kind of you know weird thing grows on it or something like widen up very much and uh i had to replace it and uh, for the replacement i used rubber bands i mean it's the best overall solution because you know I don't want to spend any money on it. So, um, pretty much. About the original microphone cable. So, the XLR cable which came with it wasn't the best. So, around a year ago, uh, when I bought this, I excitedly put it on my desk and all that things. So, I tested the audio, qu audio quality and uh, I got a bit disappointed because the microphone quality was next to, it's like similarly to a TV with no signal, like So, um, disappointed, I went on the internet to find some fixes So, the internet advised me to um, use voice meter So, I used voice meter, it did improve the quality but after, you know, six months of usage, the cable worn out and, uh, and I couldn't use it for the next two months. So, um, I bought a replacement for uh, three to four bucks, as I told you. And uh, the quality immensely improved and uh, I didn't have to use, like, voice meter anymore. So, what I just did, I went on OBS, uh, microphone settings, and uh, filters, then noise reduction, then I think R and noise, it gives you a better quality, but more CPU usage. But, you can, you can be the judge of that, it's pretty nice to be honest, I feel it's nice, because it's pretty good to be honest. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Another thing is that, funny story, I didn't actually buy the BM3000. So, um, I actually went and ordered the BM800 and it arrived as the BM3000. So, younger me, thinking that the BM3000 is way better than the BM800, I 
did not return it because I thought, felt that the number was good enough to tell me that it was better. Well, I was stupid back then. Anyways, um, there was a bit of issues, but eventually it worked out. So pretty much, um, I am happy with this microphone. So let's do a bit of testing right here. So since I've been talking uh, mostly with the uh, noise suppression, background noise suppression uh, filter, let's just remove it and see how it um, sounds. So I'm gonna remove it in three, two, one. And yeah, so this is how it sounds with without any filters like this basic stock with the new cable and uh, the old cable broke down so I can't test it and so I feel that it doesn't do a great job of moving the background noise but you know um, it's just you know a three second step a three uh, three step process just um, go to settings, just you know, add the noise, add the suppression, noise suppression, and uh, you choose our noise. Boom, you get this quality. And uh, I feel that um, this microphone is good enough because, you know, without any steps, you're getting quality like this. Because um, I don't think so any other mic would give you, but um it's pretty good so my final verdict on this microphone is that if you want a really cheap um good quality microphone and you're willing to spend around 30 to 17 bucks just on you know this much of quality I recommend the bm3000 it's the best but if you are having a bit more money and you know a bit more extra time i would recommend you to go get the uh, fifine k669b um because it has more better you know quality and uh, don't have to replace replace anything for the time being so Nothing much to say, um, yeah, so if you like this video, give a thumbs up, if you don't like this video, it's fine, give a thumbs down. Thank you rookies for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next racing video. B. Y. E.